Um, so the problem I'm Hades Omega's uh, kind of baffled with right now is there's three wires that come out. All right, there's actually technically four, but there's three wires. I know what one of them is. There's three wires that come out of the harness for the KO Moto controller. All right, there's um, there's these two. They look very familiar. All right, there's the white one and the black one. All right, one of these goes to the hall sensor. I think it's this one here, and then this one. That looks like it goes to the hall sensor. But anyway, these two look familiar. There's a sensor on the uh, the ASI harness. See, the ASI uses these two. Okay, um, but I don't have. There's no third one. The third one is this one. All right, this is the third one that that's on the the KO harness. I don't know where it goes. I don't have the stock freaking controller. I don't remember taking this thing out, man. Um, as far as long as I've had this bike, I've never had a third thing that connected to the controller. So I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss here, guys. Um, so I've watched some people's videos of them installing the KO Moto controllers, and this connects to a black plug, all right? And I cannot find a black plug on the main harness anywhere, man. So, so I guess, just in case you guys don't know, this is a Sauron MX, guys. This is the very first Sauron, all right? This is the classic Sauron, all right? And it's very much... It's been very much modified since, uh, you know, from the stock version. But anyway, this is the tilt sensor. I remember I took that out. The tilt sensor plugs into that. All right. Um, however, that wire plugs into that wire um, from that harness. It plugs in. It can plug into this. But all the vi all the videos I watched, they plug into a black connector. All right. This is that that rectangular connector, and this is that square one. All right. This one is the one that goes to the battery, and then, um, and then yeah, and there's another one over here. This is the, that's the speedo. I gotta connect that, and then there's another one over here. But that's a that's a rect, that's a rectangular one. Yeah, that's a four pin. We're looking for a three pin, okay? So I can't find anything. All right, I I don't know what it's for. I sent an email to Ko Moto. Maybe hopefully they'll reply soon. It plug it can plug into a throttle box. All right, you can see here this is black and this is a throttle box. It will plug into this. Okay, there you go. See, it plugs in. Um, but however, the throttle plugs in down here. The throttle's plugged in down here. All right, so I don't think that's it. Um, this is the tilt sensor, as you can see. The connector is exactly the same as the tilt sensor. All right. However, this only has two pins coming out of it. See, three pins, two pins. There's two, this is a three pin connector, but it only has two wires coming out of it. There's only two pins in it. So what's this white wire here? This white wire has three pins in it and three wires coming out of it. And I looked at I looked at a Sauron Light B X diagram, and the, the wires match up to the tilt sensor. Right? There's a black, a green, and a black and brown black with a brown stripe wire. This is the tilt sensor. Right? So that definitely doesn't plug into the thing. So I'm kind of I'm kind of lost here guys. I don't know where that wire I didn't cut anything off of this harness or anything You know I don't know maybe there's a wire hiding up in here somewhere. No, there's see, There's some stuff here. This is the ignition switch That's the USB thing and that's it. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that it would be All right, he's me right here. I'm back and I okay. I figured it out. What's going on here? Okay, so the like uh, it's kind of like what I thought, all right? So this is a Sauron MX, right? This is the very first Sauron that came out. Um, these these are a little different than the modern uh, your most modern Saurons, all right? The Sauron X. Um, there's like a couple things different with the harness. One, well, one is that the, this doesn't have a... This used to run this guy, all right? This throttle box, all right? There was a throttle box with a, a throttle cable connected to it mounted on the bottom of the bike, all right? They ditched this when they went to the X, the Sauron X, um, to, with a uh, electronic one, right? And that's the one that I got right on there right now, okay? Um, and another difference is it doesn't have, this bike doesn't have that three pin 
or a triangular connector, all right? Yeah, that was what, something they added to the Soron X controller that this bike never had, all right? This, this bike didn't come with an X controller. Now, I bet maybe if I did have, if I still had my X controller, I sold it a while ago, so maybe it still has that connector, man. I can't remember. I, I, it was so, so long ago. Um, so I don't have it. I'm not going to connect it. All right, guys. Um, and people kind of don't know what that, what it is. I did send an email to KO Moto and maybe they know what it does, but I don't, I have no idea what it does. All right. Okay. So right here on the X, on the Soron X, there should be a third connector here. All right. These are the connectors that go to the, the controller. So, but the MX does not have that. All right. So what I'm going to do is just not connect it. All right. That's why... That's why the other controller kits I had didn't have it, all right? It, for whatever reason, the Suron X controller uses that for something, all right? I think it's some kind of data connector or something, but we don't really need it. We're going to program the controller through other means, all right, <laughs> type of thing, all right? So what I'm going to do with the uh, triangular connector is just put a piece of tape around it and then zip tie it, zip tie it closed, all right? Um, yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. And then we're just going to connect these two, all right, and then we'll leave this one out, hanging out there. Um, that's if we want to connect the computer to it, okay? So, so all right, hooray, we're back on track, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, we're just not going to connect this, all right? So, I don't know why the newer Sorons have this connector, all right, but mine doesn't have it, so we can't use it. <laughs> We, won't, we don't have it in the first place. We have nothing to connect it to. It does connect to a throttle. Yeah, it does connect to this, but I don't think that's what it is. All right, because this goes on the bottom of the bike. This shouldn't go anywhere near where this is. So, yeah, I don't think it's that. And it's a black connector. Um, it's not a white one like the tilt sensor. It should be another black connector. So this should go to a black connector. Yeah, so here's the tilt sensor. I mean, yeah, I guess it could connect to the tilt sensor because this is the exact same connector, right? Boom. All right, so, yeah. This could connect to the one that's on the bike. The tilt sensor, but I'm pretty sure it's not that. All right, yeah, so we're, we're going to cover this up. All right, that's for the tilt sensor. And then, uh, then yeah, we're not putting that tilt sensor back. And, and we're going to cover this up. Okay, this could plug into the tilt sensor. I'm pretty sure that's not that for the tilt sensor, guys. <laughs> okay, and I can I even went into the the wiring diagram and I looked and I was like, where the hell does this go? There's nothing that has three wires coming out of the the Suron controller. So yeah, I have no idea what it does, but we're just not going to connect it. Okay, so I think it should be fine. They'll probably like, hey, do you have a X Suron MX? Then well, you don't have that. So okay, let's bring it up. Mystery solved. <laughs>